Hey guys, Quicksilver Gaming here, bringing you another episode of Ultimate General American Revolution. This is episode 5 of our new Vets Play since the most recent update. And if you haven't seen episode 1, I'll put a link in the top right hand corner. I feel like that episode's pretty awesome, especially for newer players as I go over a lot of the mechanics in the early game. And uh, right now we're kind of reconsolidating, reconsolidating our forces. Canada has opened up, and I realize that Fort St. John's and Burlington are part of the New York uh, Providence, and if I want to issue what is essentially an edict, then I would need to... That is incorrect. I am using eight production points here. But if I want to issue what essentially is like a... I guess they call it a doctrine in this game, not an edict. I need to control all of New York, and I'm missing Fort St. John's and Burlington. Now those are not great, uh, well Fort St. John's isn't great and neither is Burlington. They have very low loyalty and they have very low population. But I feel like having that doctrine would really help out New York. And I, I think in the long run it would be something that would be pretty beneficial for me. But right now what I'm doing, I, I feel like I, I kind of want to do some stuff with the Navy right now. I want to build up my forces and see if we can either take Boston or go back up, take Fort St. John's and Burlington, or maybe take like Fort Lavelle and Fort Stevens. If you look at our supply map, and I think we gained uh, Lyman, New Hampshire from a, I think that was an event where they essentially swapped sides kind of like Fort, uh, Fort Frederick did earlier. I'm not sure. I don't recall having Lyman before. I am going to give up Castine. It's not in a good position for us to to keep it. But uh, Lyman, New Hampshire, we'll keep that for the moment. If you look at our supply network map, it's kind of in the supply network. Like, not really per se, but if I take Fort Lavelle, it'll definitely be in the network. And then like Burlington is a good one to grab. That's actually really strange that Burlington doesn't have a road that goes up to Fort St. Chambly or Fort St. Shams. Um, but I'm, I'm kind of thinking regroup, um, let's take it a little bit easy, let's see what our navy can do. Uh, because if we can secure maybe another ship, secure you know, some of the, the waters over here a little bit better, then that would be great. I'm also building up supply wagons so that they can grab a bunch of provisions and ammunition um, that'll help us in the long run and i did start building a new piece of infrastructure where is it i think in hartford i'm building another factory so there's that going for it now these guys so like where we're gaining rum we're gaining resources by our trade ships actually making it to newport so if we can start actually pushing the British out a little bit, that would be fantastic. And then, as I said, if we can really replenish our replenish our troops, replenish our ranks. Um, so these guys, let's see. Let's have you guys leave the garrison and go down to Hartford too. We, we do need to... Oh, and if we can... Yeah, there we go. 34 guns from that. See, if, if we can destroy their ships... That's great, and if our ships can actually make it in, that's great too. So, this um, ha having this fleet here, that like there was five horses, oh, Castine. We lost Castine because of the uprising. Oh, Castine, I'm okay with. That's fine. Ah, I, I don't like losing the areas to um, to sabotage though. I that's not a mechanic I'm. I that's not a mechanic I enjoy. So are you guys going to join Fort Rice? That would be great. You over here. Okay, I need Quicksilver to take a peek at Fort Stevens. I think that's pretty important. In the long run, Benedict Arnold can sit over there. Fort Stevens only has 680 men. Now if I take Fort Stevens, the British will probably sally out somewhere, so I would have to be very ready for it. I need... More men recruited over here. I need these guys recruited. I would like to upgrade. Uh, not you guys. Maybe, maybe those guys over here. Twenty-two hundred. Uh, 
build the blooms. <laughs> Eventually they'll be continentals, but I don't think the continental was created yet. This is very interesting not having an enemy fleet in here. It's I like it, but I feel like we're going to get punished pretty pretty soon. But I do have them just searching enemy ships. They could patrol trade routes. I don't exactly know what that does. Um, over here, they just replenished very well. For our market, um, let's go take a quick look at that. So we have horses is not great whatsoever. But that's because we built a bunch of, or we built that supply wagon company. Over here, we have tons of provisions, and that is why I really want to build out those supply wagons, because those supply wagons can carry a lot of those extra provisions. And then over here, nothing nothing too great. Um, I wish it told you a little bit more information. Oh wait, it does? Maybe? Something, something hovered over, but... Oh, there we go. So 6 rate Super War is 28 guns. That's not too shabby, but only 130 men, which is not what we're looking for. We have that 28-gun ship in here, USS Lizard, and it has 300 men. Um, I did get a, a recommendation or comment to rename some of my ships. Definitely, definitely a thought. I'm not sure I want to do that right now, but there's not a lot of US names to go off of. And support. And they would just be things like Constitution, George Washington, Henry Knox. Like, most of the U.S. Navy names are named after cities, uh, areas. Are you guys still not at Hubbardton yet? That's pretty crazy if you ask me. Um, and, and, like, politicians and generals of the time. So that is basically what it looks like there. If we can build a supply party... Okay, so it's two wagons per. So four, and I'm assuming we don't have six. Okay, I would really like to build up another one. We are working on wagons over here. It's We're building one per day. They do take a lot of wood, horses, so they take a lot of our resources. Thankfully those production points have normalized now. Um, materials list. I'm kind of, I kind of want our infrastructure to build up more, but we could also build. Is there anything? What do I want to build in New Haven? Carpenter shop, recruiting house. I kind of wanted this to be like a warehouse or an armory, maybe an armory. Yeah, I kind of wanted that to be an armory to also store ammunition. That's storing ammunition because these are these are sort of my two. The two areas where I'm recruiting the most. And then over here, the forts are really good at storing ammunition, which is pretty cool. Whereas the towns and cities are not. So we'll do that. I think we should uh, start moving out some troops. We could, we could do a little swap over here. Um, and then these guys could go there. You guys could go there. And that'll just help those troops replenish a little bit faster. How are you guys not at Hubbardton yet? That is pretty, pretty crazy if you ask me. Um, so we have we have militia over at Fort Frederick. We're moving a couple guys up to Hubbardton. Arnold is watching over Boston and over here. These ships are doing well. So I wonder if I wonder if we could move those ships over into these water oh there's i just saw british over there so um this is one of those moments where i recommend saving the game and uh making sure you don't die and we are going to go sail to port um because as i said i i recommend saving the game in situations like that and that british fleet incoming has a 68 gun ship in it um i have very secret intelligence that tells me that there's a 68 gunship there and uh we would just get absolutely decimated so and you can see the british just <laughs> sent three fleets into this square so so much for our for our trade routes um i'm going to have to have to wait for i think one of those fleets to leave the the naval part of this game as i said not exactly my strong suit i'm still trying to figure out 
really, really what I'm supposed to do. Let's grab the green mill. I don't actually know if the green mill is in the game yet. Uh, so actually, we're going to grab horse pasture first. We do know horse pasture is in there. And we also know that, like, supply house and all of those. So let's, let's do that first. Um, I haven't seen green mill in the game yet. So we'll, we'll grab that in plus one supply limit. So I wonder if that is for all of our towns. It actually sounds like a pretty good one. So Navy Innovation 2 is nearly done. Really, we need U.S. muskets, but we can't fast track that because we only have 10 extra reputation. So really, at this point, as I said, oh, and we're low on muskets as usual. We do have some brown besses left. So let's see. Is this our group with brown besses? They can... So they'll be all brown besses over here. That's good. But that's really not enough muskets in the, in the long term. We, we really, really badly need more muskets, and in order to get more muskets, we need more production. So, um, man, i really thinking about taking Fort, Fort Stevens. I, I wonder what, I wonder what the British have in these areas. If I could, if I could get a peek at what is out at Salem, that would be fantastic. And then there's the three fleet. I wonder what's in that two fleet over there. And then, yeah, this is... Oh, I get why it's going down to four of eight, because we don't have... We don't have the stuff to... Oh, that's why we're struggling with civilian muskets so much. Okay, that's... That's good to know. So how many? We have seven in storage. So we're really low on... So iron and wood are really problematic for us. That is that is really good to know. Um, iron and wood. So we really need our mining infrastructure in other places to, to get a lot better. Man, what is over at Salem? Only 700 at Salem. Interesting. I wonder where the Brits are. They have to have more men. So I think our next plan is to take take Fort Stevens. It's not in the supply chain. We'd have to then go grab Fort Lavelle, but I think that is doable. And then our force that's at Fort Rice could then go to Fort Lavelle, and we could station a group over at Fort Stevens. It's weird that there's no road from Fort Stevens to Leicester. Um, you'd think that would be a thing, man. And now they're getting down over here. Um, I, I would like to move our fleet out soon, see if we can take on some of these ships. Those 68 gun ships are just brutal, though. Uh, the muskets, man, the muskets. The muskets are definitely proving problematic at the moment. There's our navy. Um, so I don't really know about building the guns yet, and I don't really want a 6-rate US Cerberus. So we built the dry dock. I feel like I'm going to go over here. And then go down to shipyard and then see what we can build out over here. These 40 gun ships sound a lot better. And we have a bunch of six pounder and nine pounders in storage. At least I think we do. Um, let's go take a look at that. We have six, 41 six pounders. Oh, we have these little four pounders. That's weird. So we would need to build those nine pounders, but we can, we can definitely see how that looks in the future. I don't think it's a priority for us at the moment, but um, what I'm going to actually do is buy some civilian muskets because I, I would really like these sooner rather than later. And man, what could we do here? 400? That's a lot of money, but I, I think it's necessary because they're nearly replenished. They're not anywhere near replenished. We really need that iron too. And if we can, as I said, if we can build up our infrastructure, because where is iron? Oh, and iron is over there at Fort Stevens, too. So that would be really good because we have uh, New York has a lot of my iron. How are we so low on iron? What is what is taking all of our iron? Because that's in, in all honesty, that's a lot of iron. And I'm, I'm a little little amazed that it's it's not going as well as I like it. 
Okay, I got a little cheeky, sent the fleet out because I saw the three ships go down this way and I knew there were two ships over here, or maybe that's the three ships. I don't know. Um, always save before you leave port. That is just... I, I know there's people like her against save scumming, but the fleet in this game is so random. It's so up to chance, sporadic. Um, you absolutely need to save before you send your fleet out. But we're going to take this battle. Let's see if we can capture this 30-gun ship. That would give us uh, four 30 guns in that beefy 28 gun ship. And really my plan of action here is to just go straight for H. Oh, and there's no crew on it too. That's perfect. I think we can sail directly at them. So let's just go like so. We have the weather gauge with us. That helps a bunch. Um, let's see. Why are, why are your sails... A lot of ships start with very strange um, sails, to be honest. Like at a very low, low mast. Let's just aim directly at it. Why are we... How are we going so slow when that ship is... Okay, turn, 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 and then slow a little, and then you go over here, and then you go over here, and then match speed with it. Oh, what the heck? What is it doing now? Okay, that's um very odd. What are you doing, dude? Move, move that way. Why are you struggling so much? Go on, turn, turn, turn. Did he just blow a mast off of me? Come on. Oh, we just screwed up there. That ship's probably gone. Come on, dude, I'm telling you to turn. And I would like you to turn. Yeah. This is not going according to plan because none of my ships are properly, properly turning and they're dealing way too much damage to themselves. I really would like, there we go. I really would like something where... Why? Okay, that, that ship stopped shooting at it. It surrendered. You guys need to stop shooting. Come on. Quit blasting everybody. Okay, all of... No, 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 we, to we told you to stop shooting. Okay, we should be able to take... That ship pretty quickly. Uh, Ekins, I don't know what Ekins is doing. That is crazy that that ship is lasting that long. And then that should be that. We should capture it. Okay, back to global map. That was uh, that was way too much damage. Hopefully we captured that other ship too because their crew abandoned it. I'm not really sure if we did. I don't really care about that 12 gun ship. It'd be nice to sell, but. Um, we'll we'll definitely take a peek. Yeah, we didn't capture it. That's that's fine. Uh, man, that fleet we got banged up trying to capture a thirty gun ship. I'm not entirely sure I want to try and get back to New Haven. That would be the smart thing to do. Let's see if they they get to Newport. Oh, there's a three three ship fleet. Can we get out of there in time? Oh, we might we might have done. Uh, yeah, I think we got through. Perfect. So there's a... Oh, sh uh, that's not good. That's multiple fleets down there. Alright, we will... We shall see. Can we get through... If that's the 68 gun ship, we're a little, little screwed. Don't ask me how, but we actually got to New Haven. Um, I was positive that that free, free ship fleet was going to capture us. But they didn't. We still need... Now it says not enough guns. 
so we're low on artillery not enough four pound galloper guns i thought we had plenty of four pound galloper guns um there's one okay let's buy a second and then hopefully that'll be enough it, it should be enough muskets muskets are a problem over here um let's see that's perfectly fine this fleet is definitely i wonder can we they leveled up that's perfect um support yay support's great loyalty is great gunnery and boarding i want gunnery and bordering board gunnery and boarding until officer not assigned upgrade available what do you mean officer not assigned oh okay yeah <laughs> clearly exactly what you mean um so you'll you'll be assigned there and is that all you needed to do i'm not sure uh let's rename you to uss uh if, if any of you have names for ships that you want um you're more than welcome to put them in the comments below or uh you can always message on the discord upgrades available can i just assign an officer i don't know uh, maybe maybe i'll take a take a moment for that to happen but if you ever have a name for a unit or a ship you ever want, I'm very, very open to that as long as it's not something like uh, stupid or <laughs> um, not appropriate for the channel. But uh, yeah, I'm always open to doing stuff like that. Man, I would love to go take Fort Stevens. Okay, so can you leave Garrison? Can you go over to Fort... Uh, you go to Hatfield. And you guys leave and go to Fort Fort Rice. And you guys, how many people can Fort Rice hold? Two, basically two regiments. You guys will be fine there. You guys will go there. You guys will go up there. And General Silver checking out things. As I said, it's kind of like a like a, a staring game for a little while, especially as you try to try to increase your infrastructure now what i should probably do we have carpenter shop there bennington doesn't really have enough i'm looking for places with decent construction points they already have a carpenter shop there over here um they could have a carpenter shop that sounds fantastic let's do that and you guys already are building one you guys already built one Lester didn't have room for one and then Middleborough I could build one over there man but if they we should probably do it what can Middleborough build Weaver's house stable carpenter shop okay let's build a carpenter shop that just really helps us in the long run get all of those supplies out Howerton is point three. They could build a carpenter shop. Um, and then that just will really help with our materials in the long run. Obviously, we're hemorrhaging supplies and money at the moment. Can you upgrade yet? I don't know what your apply. I don't know what the upgrade is. Did I just waste 210? There we go. Something something finally worked there. Not really sure. Oh, God. That, this is driving me nuts with that upgrade available thing but that's fine uh maybe we have enough ships to take a 68 i don't know i'm i'm really bad at the naval stuff i really feel like we need a 40 gun ship and that's what i've kind of been hoping to see like a razid ship by the british navy but we just haven't seen it yet and uh that's unfortunate so king george iii issues a proclamation formally declaring the american colonies to be in state rebellion uh, so some of you mentioned the July 5th thing that he read. Oh man, what was it called? Anyways, the, the Americans sent a letter to the king um, kind of saying like, we're still loyal subjects, but we have rights. He didn't really read it. And then um, the apparently one of the reasons he didn't read it was because the, what was the battle? Uh, the Battle of Bunker Hill had already occurred. 
So it, it was one of those things where just like the timing didn't work and it's King George III anyways, he's kind of a, uh, you know, not, not the greatest king, <laughs> to, put it, to put it lightly, uh, not, not well thought of in terms of kings of the past. So that's, um, let's see, that's all building out. How are we doing on wagons? I would love to start building up. Our, our wagons we have eight so we can definitely we can definitely build a what do you call it? wagon supply party over here and these generals seem way too way too good for all of that is there anybody that i can replace um no how about over here all right we are going to create a supply party over here and basically my, my idea is we'll have two supply parties as our army gets larger and larger. We'll have more supply parties, but they're really good at grabbing all these provisions because you have all these provisions in your pool and it doesn't really matter. So I will take five fur for minus two loyalty in Connecticut because Connecticut seems to always have a hundred loyalty. Now, 11 ammunition tensions i think that's fine it's not great earlier i think it was like the iroquois wanted like guns and ammunition and all of this it's like you want ammunition for your guns that, that doesn't make sense why would you why would you ever want ammunition for your guns but yeah ah uh, man lyman i kind of want to disband one of your militia yeah get get some of those back into the pool and some of those guns back into the pool because we Hatfield's looking good, Fort Rice is looking good. This group is not looking good, but I I need a lot of men at Fort Stevens because I imagine something will happen with Boston. Actually, we should probably move these guys over here. Now I think about it. Let's um, let's leave Garrison with you all. Let's have you go to Providence. And then we'll start moving out. Um, you guys are still repairing. You're going to take a lot of wood. This is one of my problems is that the fleet is taking a lot of wood away from everything. And, and that 68 gunship, if we could take out that 68 gunship, that would be amazing. But in all reality, 30 gunships shouldn't be able to touch a 68 gunship. If you guys know anything about the Battle of the Nile in the Napoleonic Wars where um, Nelson trapped La Orient and the French fleet at the Nile. Um, there was a fifth rate frigate that tried to like intercept the British fleet or I, I don't know, like show of arms and I can't remember which British ship it was. It fired a single broadside at the fifth rate frigate and the frigate showed its colors immediately it was like nope we're done no way are we doing that so the power difference between a third rate and a fifth rate is absolutely astounding and i don't even know these aren't even fifth rates are they can i tell what they are these are six rates yeah so these are these are super super tiny they're all porcupine classes what is this a cerberus class corvette yeah um they, there's just a huge difference it's, it's pretty crazy which is interesting like the difference between a third rate and a first rate is not as large as a difference between a third rate and a fifth rate and the reason i say that is there's many instances where third rate ships would take on first rate ships now obviously First rate ships usually have over 100 guns, and third rate ships are usually in like the 68 to 82, being some of the bigger third rate ships I've I've heard about. Um, and then some of the first rate ships, especially like the Spanish ships, you know, we're talking like 120, 30, 140 guns. But uh, for instance, La Orient at the Battle of the Nile, I believe there are two third rate ships um shooting at it and they eventually hit the magazine or th the fire got to the magazine on la orient and then they exploded and it was like a catastrophic explosion anyways i think we are ready to go take on 
Fort Stevens, those two ships are just, um, they're being bullies, which is the best way to explain the British. I, oh man, there needs to be uh, such a better brigade system, like, I need to be able to brigade those guys, and it just doesn't let you brigade them, because one of those guys can't brigade with them, and it's so frustrating, absolutely frustrating, but um, let's, let's move you guys forward. Let's have you guys move forward. Quicksilver, come over here. And we'll form an army. Uh, relation between Creeks and Cherokee become war. Great localization there. But yeah, so war between the Cherokee and the Creeks. That's, I mean, that happened a lot in, in this time period where uh, the, the British would pay the natives, the Americans would pay the natives, and um, there, there would be wars between the two um good good example of that not necessarily you know the american civil war because i believe that was seven years war but the last of the mohicans is is a good one where it you know shows the different tribes fighting each other and then working for the different sides i believe i haven't seen less of mohicans for a long time that was seven years war right if anybody knows you guys are great in the comments um the reason I ask for you guys to say things in the comments is because I'm not looking it up while I'm recording. And by the time I'm finished recording, I then go and quickly set the video up for editing. And by the time all of that is over, I completely forget everything I said because I've said this a million times. I have like a peanut brain when it comes to that sort of stuff. And I completely forget all of it. So this is amazing. Nothing coming from Boston. If we can take Fort Stevens and Fort Lavelle, that would be fantastic. Oh, okay. Well, there's something coming, but that's not enough. Like, Fort Stevens is a one-star fort. That's really, really not enough to stop me from taking Fort Stevens. So, let's, let's see that skirmish button up here. There we go. I will take this. No reinforcements. Fort Stevens has all of that. Let's do the Battle of Fort Stevens. All right, as you can see by all the blue lines, we have queued up a bunch of orders. I think the British are just sitting in their fort. Ah, uh, they might be coming out. That's interesting. We'll have to... We'll have to see exactly what the British are going to do. Um, two... Two companies moving out. That's a small fort for all those men. I guess they're just kind of moving out in front. That makes a little bit more sense. Um, if I were defending a level 1 fort, I would have troops in the fort over here, and then I would probably do something like place my guys maybe at like the halfway point of the next wall. Because level 1 forts are obviously really small, so you can't necessarily get all of your guys over there, or in the fort properly. So, but that's just kind of like my idea. So those are skirmishers coming out. Though that's duly noted I think I think I'm moving out correctly though to protect my cannons oh there's more skirmishers moving out okay and lots of infantry moving out where where are cannons going okay I think I need our cannons to to stop and I think I need to move up. And then you guys... Where's that cannon going? Probably move over here. You guys can go over there. I'm perfectly fine with you firing artillery over at my my skirmishers. That's, that's fine by me. Um, that cannon will go there eventually. And then over here, those cannons are still trying to move up. But we can continue moving these forces up. We've kind of broken those guys, which is perfect. And just, just get some nice, nice cannon fire off on these guys. Probably need to hold position with some of you. British are definitely... I, I like I like their aggressiveness on their end. Um, I think I think it works to an extent. 
Okay, let's, let's continue pushing up. Where are these cannons going? Yeah, over... Over on this flank is correct. And then let's keep grabbing you guys. Move out over here. Just keep moving up. Just trying to... Trying to get our line situated. Our cannons are kind of... Well, actually, our troops protecting our cannons are kind of in some awkward positions. I would like these cannons to move up just a tad, and then this infantry needs to move up a little bit. These skirmishers need to move up, and then probably need... Okay, that supply wagon's in a good spot. Probably bring Quicksilver over here. This supply wagon over here. Where's the other supply wagon? It needs to go up over here, because that's where that force will um those those artillery pieces that's where they will go and we'll actually move those artillery pieces over here move you guys up keep moving up go around keep pushing up 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 up, up. that is always the goal is to just get into the best firing positions that we can Militia is definitely taking some damage, but that's fine. Um, our troops are exhausted, but we're doing um, we're doing a pretty good job of getting our men into position, creating killing zones on the British. I probably want to shift these guys like into that gap, and then shift these guns down. One, I think that'll work nicely. Oh, we have a capture. I wasn't paying attention. I was. You need to grab those captures, like, immediately to properly... Words escaped me right there, too. You need to grab the, the captured troops immediately. That's... Uh, <laughs> I'm overcomplicating it in my head. That's what I'm trying to get at. So let's have you guys over here. You guys need to... Can you guys just shift over, and then you guys will just move up a little? And then that looks that looks good. Let's continue moving these guns forward. I like that. I like that. If you guys can move forward over there, the supply wagon needs to move up. We have more troops. I didn't see them. That's great. Now I do see them. And then, as I said, it's just sort of uh, getting into position. So, what I really want is more of a, a line like that. So let's push these guns up over here, and then these troops can shift over like so, and that'll be great. Where's Quicksilver? Always need you up in the thick of things. Those troops... Um, I always wonder, I guess you probably have like units that are designated as essentially military police. I know, I know in the American Civil War they had units that were like very depleted units generally ended up becoming uh, basically a early version of military police. I forget the exact terminology of it. So I always wonder in wars like how, how you go about designating that. Because when you get the POWs, I imagine that's the job of those units to to take care of any captured enemies. So we're just going to blast away at the British for a little while. I feel like we're kind of winning the firefight for the most part. I really like that they ext uh, extended the, the range of musket fire. I, I feel like that was a pretty, pretty nice change that they did to the game. Let's continue pushing you guys up over here. And actually, let's move you guys up over there, and these guys can sort of sit behind. Let's continue making sure that our supply wagons are doing their job. Somebody shattered, so that's fantastic. If we can... we can move you guys maybe more... more like so. There's another... there's a surrender shatter, but... Those guys aren't going to properly surrender. Let's have y these guns move up. These guys move up. You move up around here. 
Let's just continue grabbing all of that. Quicksilver up. Yeah, they're yeah, they're they're just gonna do that thing where they like surrender, not surrender, surrender, not surrender. Um, because there's no way for them to get out of that mess. And you can see it's just kind of continuing over and over again. I'm I think I'm moving too many of my cannons at once now I think about it. That that can be a problem. Okay, these guys should properly surrender now. Maybe? I feel like they could actually surrender this time as opposed to <laughs> what they've been doing. Uh, no, that's not quite where I want you guys to be. There we go. Like that. Okay, I need you two to move up. Probably no longer have space for uh, a third unit over there. You guys are... Oh, that was a... Uh, oh, there's, an art, there's artillery pieces over there. Okay. That would explain why that was not going well. Somebody else surrendered. Hmm. Pro the problem is they're they're surrendering through their own troops, so it's not not going how you want it to go. Alright, can we move you up and then grab you guys, move you up? We need you guys to close the gap over there. Just realized because they're they're getting through. That artillery on this flank is ripping us to pieces. Ouch. Um, Quicksilver, you're needed over there because that artillery is blasting us. Oh man, no 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 no, fall back, get out of there. Oh yeah, that that's not going well over there. Okay, I need you guys to go over here. That is just way too much artillery on that flank. And we don't have an answer for it. We really just need it to rout. I guess that is our answer. It is... The British have some insanely large pieces of artillery. Okay, there's more captures. So if we can... If we can move that gun up. If we can move you guys up. Okay, there we go. This is what I need. So, artillery needs to stop firing. And then we need to capture as much as possible, if possible. So you guys need to move out over here. You guys need to move out over here. Continue pushing up. We captured these guys. That's great. Um, what are we doing over here? Okay. Need uh, that artillery is like not, not quite gone. Okay, we captured them. Can you guys go grab them? I don't know if we'll capture that one. They're captured. Just go grab them. Quit, quit shooting. Uh, except they're continuing to shoot, and then it just comes down to can we. I would love to capture them. There we go. Perfect. Somebody got away. I don't... Uh, maybe though. No. Would have been nice if they shot them, but that's fine. Okay. We didn't lose any guns. That's great. We only lost 323. Also great, especially because I thought we lost a lot more to those big guns on the left side of the fort. Those guns look like they were pretty nasty. Um, but this gives us a springboard from... Fort Stevens to go grab Fort Lavelle, and they didn't really do anything over here, which is good. And I mean, uh, 4,400 versus 51, 5,200, not great odds, but you know, it's not, it's not terrible. See, they only have 72 guys left, so that's perfect. Would love to see what is up over at Fort Lavelle. Um, not seeing anybody at Salem really, really helped with that decision to go take Fort Stevens, and then Fort Lavelle should be a nice, easy capture also. And then, I don't know if we have enough time for Fort Lavelle in this, in this episode, though. I would really, really like to grab it, though. 
does take Quicksilver, move him up to Fort Lavelle. It's only 750 men. I think I think we can do it. That's yeah, that's the um, let's go take Fort Lavelle. If they retake Fort Stevens, that's fine. Because we'll just go back down and smash it. But I don't think they'll retake Fort Stevens um, with anything of substance because most of their force is over at Boston. All right. There's the, I was expecting an invasion soon. So British took charge of the Northern Theater and orchestrated a well-planned strategy to reinforce and protect the region. The strategic focus shifts the balance of power and influences the direction of the conflict. So I don't know where those men are going. Oh, okay. Um, that's fine. Going to the, the Canadian front. We're, we're fine with that on those guys. Um, but if we see... Okay, that fleet's going north by the looks of it. So that's perfectly fine. We're, we're okay with that. Over here, um, looks like most of our casualties were were militia anyways so it's not a big deal um they only have one cannon over here which is nice so let's take this battle i think we should be able to break them and then by taking all of these forts that'll really give us a strong foothold especially going into winter and then we can we can see what we need to do from there oh and this isn't even a fort battle this will they'll probably mass route almost immediately so um, I'll, I'll pause it real quick and get our orders into place. Alright, tons of blue lines moving out. I always recommend at the very beginning, pause, get your troops in order. But as I said, I, I kind of expect the the British to mass route. They did have the, sh uh, the flashing white bit on the, the skirmish flag, but usually they, they move forward, see what, <laughs> see what the Continental Army has amassed against them, and then they route. I will have to say, I I know some people, they don't like the, the graphics of this game. I really like how it looks um, for this. I think the textures and qualities of the map are phenomenal. Um, I think the men, they move okay. It's, I mean, obviously there's a lot that can be better. I, I'm, I'm not saying these are great, great uh, graphics by any stretch of the imagination, but I think they, I think they look good, decent. Um, I've had a couple comments, mostly on the Civil War, about the graphics of the game, but I actually think the models are pretty good. You're not going to get Total War level models. That's just how it's going to be. Oh, these guys are, I probably need to not shoot with our cannons. <laughs> I just realized that. That would be really bad. I wonder if we can get them to to surrender. Um, there's a lot of friendly fire going on over there, but if we can get them to surrender, that would be fantastic. Um, I do need to put this on super fast forward mode, though. They're probably not going to surrender. That artillery might, though. I would really like to completely destroy that artillery. They surrendered over there. Uh, those skirmishers are keeping up with them, but that's about it. And then they got away. Okay. Well, we got the we got the artillery. That's really what matters. Did that say a negative 122 casualties? I don't even understand what negative 122 casualties <laughs> means. Um, that was rather odd. But we just took Fort Lavelle. Let's see if we can get any of these guys to surrender. Um, doesn't really look like it. Oh man. They better not do anything janky with our supply. Okay. I do need you guys to go down here. And I do need you guys to go take Fort Lavelle. And then you guys can go over here. I'm glad they actually retreated to the proper lines. Sometimes they retreat, like, and they they actually surrendered there, so that was pretty cool. Let's uh, detach you and then move you over here. And then no reaction from the British is good. They're, they had a fleet land up there, so that's fine. No, come on. 
I didn't tell all of you to go over there. And we captured Fort Stevens. You guys are capturing those supplies. I need you guys to go capture Fort Lavelle. And perfect. So that was that was a good I think that was a good two for two for one there to end the episode. So we're going to call the episode there. I need to figure out what's happening on the northern front. I would like to take Fort St. John's in Burlington. And then that feels like a nice uh nice group over here. Um that's interesting that they're kind of coming back over there. But That'll be it for today's episode. Please like, comment, subscribe. All of that YouTube jazz greatly helps out the channel. If you guys ever want to check out the Discord, um, I post cat pictures and hobby stuff. And every once in a while, I'll ask if people want to play multiplayer games because there are certain multiplayer games that I don't stream or don't record that I do enjoy playing. Um, there's there's quite a few out there, uh, especially if it's like Total War or something like that. I, I really enjoy those. So. That is my spiel for my Discord. Uh, we'll see what happens moving forward. We need to go mess with the British fleet too. And we captured five furs. So that's, that's a good ending point. We will see you for episode six in the future. I should have a new mic and a new um, elbow joint there. So hopefully you'll stop hearing my keyboard strokes. And as always, guys, until next time. <laughs>